Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my first FIFA 15 series. If you d can't tell already, I have a PlayStation 4 at last. Look at this thing. Um, it's awesome, I got it today. I've played one match of FIFA 15 so far, and that was United against Arsenal. World class, five minutes. Uh, and I actually won 2 1, scored a beauty with Yana's eye. I really wish I'd recorded it. You know those situations where you do something really good and then you wish you'd recorded it so you could show people? That happened. I scored a really nice chip with Yana's eyes, my first goal on FIFA 15. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, this is a Barnsley, well, it's not really a Barnsley. Uh, it's a Road to Glory career mode. And unlike most Road to Glory career modes where you take one a small team and bring it to the top and then you know all that, what I'm doing is I'm being the manager and I'm going to do as well as I can with Barnsley, hopefully work my way through the ranks of being a great manager and then hopefully get offers from, you know, better teams like Everton or other, like, you know what I mean, like, uh, I'll get offers from other clubs or maybe I'll look to join different clubs to improve my managerial success, like, maybe eventually I'll end up at, like, Barcelona or some crazy good team like Bayern Munich or something like that. That's the goal, do 15 seasons, hopefully end up managing one of the best clubs in the world, make them the best club in the world, and, uh, you know, retire as successful as Fergie did, I don't know. Just do something like that, and uh, there's only one club, what well, one? Not one club, one team that I will uh, sign for if it is offered to me international-wise, and that is Wales. I'm from Wales. Uh, why I don't really want to join any other team, any other country for international management, uh, except for Wales. And I mean, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. Uh, all this stuff is really irrelevant, but let's go. We're doing Barnsley, and uh, Barnsley are a League One side. They got relegated last season, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully we're going to be able to get, get them to bounce straight back and we're going to do some awesome stuff. Let's go! Alright, so now we've got the objectives for the um, the season. We've got a domestic cup objective, which is to reach the round of 32. I think that's possible with Barnsley. We can we can do that easy peasy, hopefully. Um, transfer market information, blah, 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 blah. We've all seen that before. Uh, the assistant manager says we should look for a, for a striker. I'll have a check first to see if that's any uh, true at all or anything. Um... So yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, we've got a scout introducing himself, that's lovely. Uh, and the league objective is to win the league title, wow. Uh, if you've seen Barnsley's status in the league so far, they're really not doing well in real life. Uh, it's unfortunate really, they've done kind of shit, but maybe we can have a different look. Maybe we'll win the league this season, get to the championship, hopefully reach for a mid-table spot so we're not doing, you know, going back into the vicious cycle of being surviving relegation every year like they did with uh, in the championship for a good few seasons. Uh, hopefully we can push on, maybe even get to the Premier League, because uh, Barnsley were in the Premier League once, surprise, surprise. Um, and yeah, anyway, we're going to go and check out the scout report. Okay, so we've got um, Jamie Vardy, I'm not a big fan of, but uh, that's probably because I'm a United fan. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know who this Ra Rakish Bingham is, but uh, whatever. Uh, Nua Dicko, great name. Ben Williamson, Danny Ward. Danny Ward! Hmm, I've heard things about this guy. He might be good, I don't know. Um, Nicky uh, Jose. Um, Chechi? What the fuck? How do you say that? Is it free agent though? So that could be something to look into. Nathan Delfonso, okay. I know of him. He's uh, decent. Um, McCoyd. Uh, Emmanuel Thomas, who plays for Bristol City. Uh, Sean Batt. Joe Garner. Peter Whittaker Falcao. You honestly expect me to sign Falcao? A piece of crouch actually wouldn't be that ridiculous, would it? Hmm, would it? I don't know. Let's add him to the short. I know he's not great, but he's he's a big name, isn't he? So let's inquire. Yeah. Anyway, um, why is Peter Whittingham there? He's a bloody midfielder. Anyway, um, let's see. We could look at some young players, possibly loan out like uh, J James Wilson or something. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and look into the squad. And uh, I'll meet you in a minute when I set up my strongest possible squad. Okay, so uh, I've decided to go with the 4-4-2 diamond. It's something that I'm particularly good at. I mean, the 4-1-2-1-2 with the wingers. 
I, I like having wingers, I like to play wide a little bit, uh, you know, have some pace going down the, the flanks. Um, but yeah, this is the strongest squad I could put together. I know you've got Lita down there, who's got a 65 striker, but he's 29 years old, and Cole is just uh, 19 years old, so he could grow into potentially a decent player. So I'm going to put him as the first team player. I'll play Lita quite a bit, I'll do some rotation and everything. Uh, and then we've got this guy, who's actually a centre midfielder, not an attacking midfielder, so I'm going to actually look for a centre attacking midfielder, maybe loan out, like, maybe even try and buy Ryan Mason from Tottenham. Uh, I don't know, something like that, we'll see. We've got Bailey down here, who looks like a decent player. Uh, he's 25 years old, so he's got loads of time left in him. Uh, Williams is a winger from Australia, and he's only 20 years old, so he could grow into something potentially good. Uh, Treacy, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he's a, he can play on both sides. I'm going to play him on the left, because that's apparently his preferred side. Um, he's got some great stats there, actually. Look at this. Uh, very, very consistent there. Um, but yeah, anyway, he's going to be our starting left midfielder. I'm going to put Jennings on every now and then because he's quite young and got some potential as well. And then this is our back four. I've got Movoto here, uh, who could, who's definitely a beast in career mode. And um, we'll hopefully try and play him uh, occasionally. Like, look at his physicality. Jesus Christ. The strength, 91. Oh my god. Um, yeah, anyway, that's uh, what we've got. We need to kind of thicken up on, say, midfield players. We haven't really got anywhere near enough. Uh, maybe try and loan out a few players. I'm actually thinking of someone who's uh, actually a really good rated player, but is on, on the uh, end of his career, so maybe we could sign him for one season to get us back to the, uh, to the championship. Anyway, I'm going to go and get, make up my shortlist, and hopefully we'll see what we can do from there. Alright, so here's my, my shortlist that I've got down so far. We've got Lucas Hernandez, uh, who's a young centre-back, who could be really good for strengthening up our centre-back uh, position. Uh, we've got Scott Parker, who's my uh, experienced TDM that I was thinking about. Uh, he could be too expensive for us, and his overall... Well, he's, he's a big player, isn't he? So he might even want you know, too much money. So it might be out of the question that and I might have to go and find someone else, which is fine, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, he's just there in case. Uh, Patrick Roberts, we all know about him. He's got so much potential. He's 17 years old. If I'm going to get him, I'll get him on loan because he's going to be expensive. Uh, Jack Grealish, I'm going to get him on loan. I don't think I'll be able to sign him. Maybe I will. I don't know. I, I'm just going to try and loan him, to be honest. Uh, Ryan Mason, I can actually try and buy this this kid. Um, uh, they've actually transfer listed him as, here, as you can see, and his contract is expiring. So maybe, depending on what happens, I could wait it out. Actually, you know what? No, I don't even want to wait it out. Um, I want to get him because we don't have a centre attacking midfielder. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to uh, approach them right now. I'm uh, going to go... Um, gonna throw in 350 we're gonna be as cheap as possible hopefully this will work out okay don't know if it will it probably won't but it's worth a try anyway uh, yeah so there's that Peter Crouch I'm gonna say is not gonna happen I don't know it's not I'm gonna actually you know uh, hang on Peter Crouch uh, no it's not gonna happen maybe I'll keep him on my shortlist maybe we could get him on a pre-contract who knows uh, and James Wilson. Yeah, James Wilson. We're going to actually try and loan him out now. Um, how much? 3000 3, That's fine. Uh, go for a se full season and uh, no f future fee because uh, you can go back to United. I don't mind. I I'd, love to, I'd love to help out Louis Van Gaal and his uh, squad. Anyway, yeah, there's my uh, shortlist. Uh, make sure to leave in the comments, guys, who you think I should add to the shortlist and try and sign before the end of August. And uh, we're just going to sim through and see what, what happens in the next few days and weeks. Anyway, go. Oh, wow. Uh, the it's He's worth 1.7, so I'm going to try and loan him. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and do another loan, full season. Uh, yeah, go with that. Hopefully that will work out. Yeah, I don't see that happening. He's a crouch. Yeah, we're gonna, if we're going to get him, we're going to get him on pre-contract. If you guys don't want me to get him, which I wouldn't, be, wouldn't even blame you, uh, just let me know. Uh, Ryan Mason, um, he's on the transfer list and they're waiting any offer we make, that's good. Hopefully uh, they'll consider our offer of 350k. Uh, Jack Grealish, holy shit balls, and Scott Parker, and uh, he's recently joined so they're not discussing his availability. Okay, so we're not going to get Scott Parker, I might look at Bentaleb or something like that. Um, Jack Grealish, uh, we're going to have to get on loan, if at all, so I'm going to throw in another loan offer there. Uh, whenever you're ready, there you go. Uh, full season, not set. Uh, yeah. We'll go with that. Look at this guy. He's got so much potential. I mean, his hair looks stupid, but he, he's got a bag of potential. And Patrick Roberts. Um, yeah, we'll do the same. Full season. 
Uh, hopefully we can make a potential bunch of stars in this squad this season out of low knees. But uh, I'm going to have a look at some centre midfielders. Um, and yeah, I'll come back in a minute once again. Alright, so we've got a loan offer accepted with uh, James Wilson, which is awesome. And oh shit, they've received a big offer for, uh, for Ryan Mason, 600k. I'm going to up the offer then, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and up my offer for Mason uh, to... Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna match his value, six two five. We're gonna go with that. Hopefully this works. I really hope Watford don't take him. He's mine, bitch. Uh, and uh, James Wilson, we are gonna go ahead and set accept. I think. Uh, yeah, James Wilson, welcome to the club. Should I do it? Yes, I'm gonna do it. Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully this works out. I'm, I'm sure James Wilson will be a great player for us. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Oh, sorry, uh, quick reminder, uh, if you didn't already know, and you probably don't, uh, two hours from now, the first episode of my Manchester United career mode is coming out. Yes, I know, uh, everyone and their mum is doing a career mode on Man United. I don't care, I want to do it myself. I'm going to do uh, the best career mode I can possibly do with the United. It's going to be another one that's a bit different from uh, most career modes, hopefully. Uh, and I think you'll all enjoy it, if you're a United fan especially. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll, you'll check that out, it's going to be great. And... Uh, yeah, I suppose this is actually going to be the end of the first episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. It's the uh, thumb up th thumb up thing. I don't really know why this is the uh, international signal for liking something. Uh, but it is. So if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know all your thoughts. Let me know some transfer targets. Whatever you want to leave, leave in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you all. Um, and yes, I will see you all next time, which will be probably the very next day, maybe a day after, depending on how quickly you guys respond to my requests. In fact, you know what, uh, I'm going to say this right now, I'm going to go and record another episode of this, um, and so you know, basically, that I probably won't be able to respond to your uh, feedback for at least another episode, okay? Because I really want to see at least if I can get a game or two in the next episode. So anyway, yeah, see you all next time.